the dating scene, I've come to realize that you'll end up with a lot of unwanted follow-up calls and offers of second dates when you casually mention over dinner that you're currently being a philosopher who encourages you to shatter your current form of experience by going out and having all sex. That's Julia Hahn. She's been called Steve Bannon, Steve Bannon. She doesn't have Twitter. She never does interviews. There are no pictures of her in any of the major news photograph services. Ann Coulter said she wants her to be president as soon as she's old enough. She's a vehement anti-Muslim nationalist, and she's special assistant to the president of the United States. Hahn was born in 1991 to an affluent family in Los Angeles. Hahn went to high school at the prestigious Harvard Westlake. Tuition is $37,000 a year. The school bus, $2,500. She went on to the University of Chicago where she studied philosophy and gave this interesting lecture, one of the only traces of her available online. Foucault insists that psychoanalysis promises that if we can just uncover the mysteries of sex, we'll arrive at some essential truth about ourselves. When she graduated, she moved to D.C. She told her friends she wanted to get a job in media. And get a job in media she did for Laura Ingram, a job that catapulted her to a role as press secretary for David Bratt, the Tea Party congressman who pushed traditional conservative House Majority Leader Eric Cantor out of his congressional seat. At some point, she accrued a bank account worth between $500,000 and $1 million, stock funds worth up to $1.5 million, and an investment in the state of Israel valued between one and 15 grand. She eventually got a job at Breitbart, working under Steve Bannon. Her pieces there are a look into her political beliefs, like the white supremacist dog whistle, preserving America's cultural identity as a Western nation, and articles fretting over how white Christians are now a minority. She claimed Muslim immigration puts half a million U.S. girls at risk of genital mutilation. She wrote an ecstatic review of Camp of the Saints, a novel about immigration causing the downfall of Western civilization. She believed all around the world, events seemed to be lining up with the predictions of the book. Breitbart paid her $177,000 a year. She hated Paul Ryan, calling him a third world migrant enthusiast and a globalist, and accused him of trying to undermine then-candidate Trump. But she loved Steve Bannon, calling him one of the most supportive, kind, inspiring, and selfless bosses a reporter could ask for. And the feeling was mutual. When Bannon left Breitbart for the White House, he brought Han with him. It was seen as a threat or attack on Speaker Ryan. But when Bannon left, Han stayed as a special assistant to the president, keeping her unique opinions on people who aren't white in the White House.